In this video, I'm going to show you three ways to lower your golf score now. So today I'm joined with Leon Fricker, who is a channel regular and he's also a bit of a fan favourite. So now you're going to like this one, give it a like and let's get into the tips. Nah. Alright, tip number one. We're on like a shortish par four here. Very tight hole. If you feel a little uncomfortable, something that I always do and I think a lot of good players do is they'll like go to a low shot just to kind of keep the ball out of the air for too long it doesn't have too much time to be affected by the wind it's kind of like a safe shot for me anyway and i know quite a lot of guys that i play with and at the highest level they all kind of tend to hit similar like a lower flight whether it's a draw or a fade depending on the hole but that's kind of what i do so I've got a two iron here Let's see what you got Okay, at the end of this video, Leon's going to be showing you exactly how to flight it down. All right, so stick around to the end of this video to learn how to actually get that lower flight and controlled tee shots. When it gets tighter, I do exactly the same thing, and I've come to like a knockdown driver shot as well. We just tee it down and just squeeze one out there. Maybe you lose like 20, 30 yards. You can always guarantee that you're going to keep it in play more, and when it's going low and you're squeezing it, it's got less time in the air, so it hits the ground quicker. And it's got less chance of getting in trouble. So what number have you got, mate? Yeah, about 118 yards. Pretty much the wind's in off the left, so it's close to a full-ish. 52. So you're going to take it pretty much straight at it. Strike. Come on. Oh. Oh, look at the spin. Bit of, bit of uh, jizz on that one, sir. Like a 1.5 there on the old, on the old feet. On the old foot scale. Oh. Obrigado. What a tremendous start. Look at it. Just take a look over here, James. This is all my property. It's really beautiful. Beautiful people. Some of the best people in the world. Finest, finest people on the planet here in Portugal. Faro is where we're at. Really wonderful place. We've got two more holes left. Next tip's gonna be, tell I don't know exactly what he's got up his sleeve yet, but we're gonna find out. Named after the Egyptian, <laughs> Tutankhamun. Tutankhamun. Faro, which of course we all know means. A whale's video. 16, we got 151 yards, but it's playing downhill, so it's playing down about 15, so it's playing near about 135. What is tip number two? With your mid irons. All of us are guilty of at times, especially I am, for sure. Hitting them, trying to hit them too hard, trying to hit them like your max yardage too often like these are like precision clubs so you're looking for distance control dispersion obviously when you hit the ball hard dispersion is never normally as good your distance control is never normally as good tip number two is just swing within yourself with your irons you don't have to make a full full swing it's kind of like i kind of stop just before parallel and i always you know control the flight as best i can get a solid strike and quite often that way distance control dispersion is a lot lot better so right so lean's got pitching wedge which he maxes out around 150 yards so this shows how within himself that he's playing for this shot not hitting that marker yep. <laughs> <laughs> i mean distance control this is control is good if you watch tiger play he never swings out of his capabilities does not he desire, unless he's not with his unless he's got to gauge it out of like heavy rough yeah. it's always like really within himself and he's fly. like flighting it his distance control is the best because he's learned to kind of change his trajectories and you know play different shots and swing within himself the whole time you know he's he's always trying to finish pin high best way to do that is strike in the middle control your trage trage, trage. just trage one yeah. out there Liam has seen three percent slope on this one and on the next green we're going to show you just how he reads greens and like a version of this green reading that you can actually use without going fully into aim point. It's all about pace. Yeah, it's just a tad heavy on the pace, but the read was decent. Oh, we've got a properly tight flag, seven from the back, about seven from the right, and seven from 
that little shelf at the front. So this is sort of like a flag that you probably wouldn't go straight at in competition play. You'd probably aim, I don't know, like four yards left because that'd increase your margins massively. Ooh. Yeah, this is exactly why you wouldn't go for this flag in tournament play. If you knew where it was and you knew the green complex, just because you're leaving yourself I mean, that's as, that's as good as you're going to do from down there. Shot. Sure. So what I was saying for the guys at home, if they don't want to go through the full aim point course, which essentially means like straddling the line, trying to get a feel, getting exact percentages, and then trying to work out a calculation with the percentages to slope, to fingers, to speed, to get a line. Literally just to feel it with your feet. Stand there. I can clearly feel that my right side is, is higher than my left. So I know that it's going to break from right to left. Yep. And it's literally again, as simple as that, isn't it? As simple as that. So yeah, it's as simple as that. I know it's going to break from right to left. Then you can just use your eyes, kind of. Once you've felt it with your feet, you know that it's going to go from right to left. You can kind of feel, okay, if I'm standing like this, the ball's going to swing heavy. Yep. If I'm standing quite flat, then it's probably just going to be quite a subtle break. And then you can kind of just gauge. Yeah, and this is great for putts that are fairly straight because if you've if you got a straight putt and you're thinking, well, this could go either way, just get your feet in there. And just to give you a bit more confirmation, if it feels flat, it's flat, hit a flat, hit a straight putt. Yeah. So it's feeling this is going to break right to left. So it's going to hit it's outside the right of the hole. And this broke pretty hard. Maybe a bit of grain. Yeah, there's grain. But that's just the nature of the beast. It's the nature of putting, isn't putting it? Putting is tough. You can hit some good putts and the ball doesn't go in. You can hit some terrible putts and the ball goes in. Okay, so we're going to head to the driving range now. So Leon's going to show you how he plays that low shot that you can control when you get to a tight hole. That is squeezy. Lemon squeezy. How do you hit that shot for the guys at home? I tee it down quite a lot. Um, so I started hitting this shot. I was doing a lot of practice hitting the ball off the ground with the driver because it's really good for path, like learning where your path is because it's very punishing if you're hooking it, slicing it, whatever. So I learned the shot doing that and then I started teeing it down really low. Stand a little bit closer to the ball. I grip down it a little bit. I don't do too much with the ball position. Okay. I'll just like almost stack my weight on the left on side. The left side. And then I'll just keep it there and rotate around there. Okay. Um, so teeing it down, teeing it down, stacking weight on the left side. Stacking weight, stand probably an inch or two closer to the ball and then just go ahead and rip it. Yeah, that's nice. Let's get that coming down to the end of the range. Beautiful. Simple as that. I yeah. hope you've enjoyed it. Follow Leon this year. Inst follow him on Instagram. He's got a very busy season coming up, haven't you, Leon? We're doing a bomb one. You don't want to bomb one to finish? Oh, we did. We're doing a bomb one on the next video, mate. Oh right. Next so week. next video coming, we're gonna find out how Leon hits bombs. Okay. Stay tuned. Cool beans. Ciao, ciao. <laughs>